Heat the Streets is our demonstration of how we expect to deliver wide-scale low-carbon heating across the UK and how we make that transition from fossil fuels to electrification of heat to enable our transition to, to low-carbon. The business has always been driven by a passion that this is the way to heat our homes and, and it is the best way but also if you look at what we're doing it helps people out of fuel poverty so we're, we're helping the environment but we're also helping UK you know, and, and the, the people who are struggling right now frankly um, in the UK are better off from this technology and that passion underpins the growth um, and know that the rest of the world is catching up to the idea of heat pumps we have ideally a place for it. The single most innovative thing about Heat the Streets was the fact that we installed split ownership infrastructure. So we're treating the pipes in the ground that are running these heat pumps as a utility asset. It's the first step to low carbon utility company in Kenzie Utilities. The overarching aim of the, the present government is that we should be carbon neutral by 2050. So this is one small part of reaching that goal because it's an efficient heating system. The house is warm, there's hot water, <laughs> it's brand new and it's carbon neutral. And if you, I suppose if you do care about the environment, then we're doing a little bit towards our reliance on fossil fuels. Recent investment into Kenza from Legal in General and Octopus Energy has meant that we can start thinking about asset infrastructure investments in a slightly different way. Kenza utilities can take ownership and spread that cost over a 40 year period, effectively shifting the capital budget into a revenue budget, making it much more fundable, which seeks to reduce carbon and achieve net zero before 2030. It actually runs to how you want the heating it, so it, you don't have to have it either on or off. You can have it, you can set it to whatever temperature you want, and it's extremely smart, and it makes life really comfortable. Oh, the heating bill is dropped, and that has dropped. We were all electric with storage heaters, which were unbelievably expensive to run, um, and uh, we made a good choice. Definitely made a good choice. I think what is so nice about the whole thing is every room is warm. It's the same temperature right throughout and it's absolutely lovely. Well, we've got 15 installers um, and throughout the project, they all had a go. You know, there's some bits to be learned from it if we did it, did it again, but on the whole, in the cold light of day, it's a, you know, it's a great project to be part of. The concept of actually taking a whole community and identifying the kind of longer term challenges around, I guess, for the people that live in those homes um, and how they can keep them warm and comfortable. But also for us as an organisation, how can we start to meet the climate change challenges that we have about moving all of our housing stock into being carbon neutral in the future? Some of that heat straight when it comes along, you think, well, that's, that's brilliant. We're starting to kind of bite off chunks of the work we've got to do 
look at it in a really holistic way that actually looks to what the solution is in kind of 20, 50, 100 years time. We've carried out quite a few schemes to date, but Heat the Streets has sort of really moved that along. It's a different funding model, it's a different payment model, it works very well and it picks the whole community up, so that's, that's really beneficial for everybody. It's definitely a lot better than my previous system, which I had, had quite a few issues with. I was going through a lot of oil. For someone in my situation, as a single parent, it's not very feasible. It's, it's very difficult. You have to have maybe a month of, or even two months, of catching up on your bills. And, you know, at points, I've had to maybe go seek help for food and stuff like that, because it's, it's a lot of money. To be fair, it's just been an absolute pleasure getting it put in. But everyone around it, I've been aware of everything. I've been noted about everything. There's always, I've been informed about every procedure that's went on and all the work people that have been in the house, not one of them have, have been rude or anything and they've been aware that I've got a young child running about and it was done really, really well. I can't, I can't fault it. It absolutely makes sense to spread the cost and we know what we're paying every year and it's just like any other monthly direct debit that you have, we'll just pay for it over the course of time and I think that's a really reasonable way of doing it. It's just going to be a really big leap to reducing our carbon footprint and I think that's really important. What we want to do is demonstrate using this scheme how we achieve wide-scale decarbonisation um, through the use of ground source heat pumps. So historically when people switched the mains gas, the infrastructure was provided by the network operators and then people attached their gas boilers to that as they, as they chose to and we want to do exactly the same with renewable heat using heat pumps. And this split ownership model allows us to reduce the cost of the homeowner by providing the infrastructure in the street and then allowing people to connect to that as their, um, as their boilers fail. There are communities like this up and down the country, so this model could be replicated hundreds and hundreds of times across the country. It's the only way that we're going to get to really decarbonise the whole of our built environment by doing, learning, refining, doing again.